the next topic that we are going to deal with is very very interesting it says human capital formation and economic growth so we are going to see what is the correlation between the economic growth and the human capital formation the first point in reference is the change in the emotional and material environment leads to the growth now the human capital formation leads to as i said change in the emotional and material environment leading to growth now here if there is an emotional change of the human capital it will definitely lead to what the growth oriented attitude of the people they would look for jobs they would do work in such a manner that it brings about individual collective and growth for the country next is that it also leads to the material environment growth now what is this material environment growth material environment growth is when the human capitals work in such a manner that they have growth which implements money which brings about more money which brings about more profit to them thus the emotional and the material environment which brings about a change because of the human capital formation is definitely leading to the growth in the capital of the country the second is higher productivity you see when the physical capital that is the human capital is involved in the productivity and if they have skilled expertized labor skilled engineers people who know how to work efficiently that is the time that you have higher productivity your production increases many folds leading leading to higher rate of growth then is innovative skills when people are literate educated learned and they have expertise knowledge that is the time that people would tend to become innovative they would have such a mind that they would be looking forward to bringing about changes in the workplace they where they are and these changes are a must for bringing about the formation of the growth in the country if we have to bring about the economic growth we have to move towards innovative skills next is participation of many people and equality amongst them if we are able to employ more number of human capital if we are able to give employment to more people that is the time that we are going to have increase in the economic growth because the physical assets of the country can lead to the economic growth of the country and if there is an equality that is the time we'll have growth in the country with social justice and growth with social justice is the true development of the country next is we have to see that the people who are working are satisfied the people who are at their workplace get the satisfaction in all terms and this alone can bring about economic growth so this human capital formation can only lead to economic growth it is in fact the first step towards bringing about the true development in true sense or the progress in the country